Gentlemen, Sherry here from No Flex Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for October the 14th until the 28th. I hope you're all doing well. All right, so I'm going to be doing a crystal ball reading, which is a 5x5 grid, four cornerstone cards, one center card, which represents main message from the universe. The cornerstone cards represent main energy in the reading. There's a distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome um, rose. All right, so let's begin. First cornerstone card, distant past, queen of wands. So the, this card showed up in your present position um, for the twin flame reading. So this represents um, someone that you desire, someone who you, is, you're passionate about. Uh, so this is the queen of no fucks given. She is the center of attention. She is very charismatic. Um, men are drawn to her women want to be like her so this is a leader as well okay so wand or fire spirituality so it's a cornerstone card this is what you desire you desire your twin flame if you you desire this passion this connection in your life next king of cups so this represents water energy so this uh, is you masculine wearing your heart on your sleeve being open um, showing your love giving your love or desiring to give your love so it's deep pure innocent love okay so you know your back is kind of turned on the feminine your <clears throat> your attention might be focused elsewhere perhaps but I really feel that you know you desire a connection with your feminine um, and Maybe you expressed yourself, your, your emotions to her. You opened yourself up to her, perhaps. Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Pain. So this card kept on showing up in the Twin Flame readings as well. And I felt that, you know, it was coming in the, your future position for the present. Um, so it's like, um, you. It, it was like you ended up hurting yourself by creating walls and boundaries for yourself. Um, like it was a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? So, but then it showed up again as a final outcome for the feminine, the Three of Swords. So there's this pain that is being caused by barriers. Um, you know, or maybe you had your heart broken by this fire energy, but I'm not, I'm not really seeing that. Um, let's carry on. Two of Pentacles. So this is making a decision to create a new reality um, or to seed an intention that changes your material or 3D reality. So this is a seed taking root and growing and transforming and making you feel unsteady, like you're being pulled in two different directions. All right, so this is balance while that change occurs so cornerstone card the chariot movement forward taking control of the reins directing your energy towards that goal overcoming obstacles and challenges right so this is an outward projection of your will onto the world so i almost feel like you masculine may have taken a chance given your heart even though you were you feared it having broken, you still moved forward towards a more emotionally fulfilling life in the future. So near future position, or sorry, recent past position. Um, so this is the nine of cups. This is emotional bliss. You know, it's a feeling of arrival. You are surrounded by the things you love, doing the things you love, listening to music, just enjoying life, okay? And this is actually pursuing that. So you accomplished what you desired. You reached your goal. You you felt love, and you celebrated that love. And it's right below the Queen of Wands. So, you know, it could be the feminine sending this energy out to you because she did get the Nine of Cups. Um, so... Next is the Judgment card. Feminine also got this as well as a final outcome for her reading. So there is a lot of illumination, awareness, awakening. Um, 
So this is realizing your entire life has just been a movie projected on the screen in your own mind so you can create a new reality for yourself. And what you're creating is a happier life. You see a happier future for yourself, right? And it comes from love. It comes from this passionate person, fire energy, and, you know, the heart space. Devil, wow. Okay, so the devil is a codependent relationship, an addiction, attachment. So it something in the 3D reality stopped you from completely opening yourself up and feeling this love. Or, you know, since this film projector is projecting this image onto the screen, your attention was focused on the devil, on this chain. And seeing how it caused you pain and heartbreak in the past, causing you to turn your back on that one thing that you love, that one thing that brought you emotional love, you know, abundance of love into your life. There's a sense that you protected your heart from it, right? And it's because of this pain, these stories that you're, you're continuing to replay over and over and over in your mind. She's just going to hurt me. She's just going to betray me. She's just going to, you know, dump me, get bored of me, you know, find the next best thing. Next. Wow. Four of Wands. So the feminine got this in this position for her reading. So there's this sense that both the divine masculine and divine feminine felt this, this idea of connectedness, desiring to be with each other in 3D, you know, share this life, living peacefully in harmony. And, but all of this love, you know, has this core fear, right? It, there's this continual image of the devil being projected, yet there is love surrounding you, the masculine, but you're, you're not fully letting this in. You're not fully seeing the light on the other side of that dark veil that's over your eyes, right? You sense this, this connectedness, you know, this reality can be, can happen, be manifested, but you're not fully believing it for some reason. Six of Wands, so this is success and victory, being the rock star, being on top of the world, people, people are cheering for you. Um, so you feel inspired to continue moving forward. Um, and so there's a chain that you need to take care of or that you have taken care of. You've seen the difference between a codependent relationship and a true love relationship. And you know it'll bring you success, right? But, um, well, let's see what's in the present position. Wow, Ten of Wands, the feminine got this exact card in the same spot. So you both are at a place of exhaustion, burden. You know, being caught in the machine, working day in, day out. Wow. Incredible. Mirroring happening. Next. Wow, Ace of Cups. This actually showed up. Actually, sorry, it showed up like this, I think, right? No, I can't remember. But these two cards showed up in the present position. So, um, no, actually, this card showed up in the near future for the, the feminine. So, this is a new beginning of love. It is letting go of the past, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, but being in a place to truly be open to, to love. Right? So... You know, it's like you masculine are tossing and turning, thinking about this connection, thinking about desire, you know, wanting this connection, wanting to start it. Um, but like I said, the, the, the devil is holding you back. So next card is zero point, main message from the universe. Wow, death card. This is death of the ego. Straight up, man. You got to let go of this shit from the past, this heartbreak, this pain, whoever this person is that betrayed you needs to be released and cut away. So this is um, a rebirth. Okay, next. Destiny. Karma. Coming back to you. So it's karmic lessons. So you may be done with karmic lessons and putting an end to that cycle of 
exhaustion, burden. Um, you know where it's coming from, right? And you know it needs to be released. And yes, the spirit or source is telling you that needs to be put to death, put to an end. Um, and if you don't, you will never allow true love to come into your life. True love is knocking on your door. Um, so yeah, I feel there's a shift, a change happening here. Next. Wow, Ace of Wands. So you got two Aces, plus you have the Ten of Wands, which reduces to one, and then Destiny is also a Ten, which reduces to one. So we have an Eleven, Eleven on either side of this rebirth, transformation. So the Ace of Wands is the go light, go time. Um, so it's also Kundalini awakening. It's an epiphany realization. So the masculine, you feel like, you feel inspired, you feel like there's this new life or energy that's coming towards you. Um, and it's kind of cool how we got the Ten of Wands on this side. Uh, so the Ten of Wands, once that cycle is completed, it reduces to one, a new beginning. So there is a new love, a new start and that's more spiritually aligned that's coming forward. And so there's a sense of whether or not you're going to take that new beginning or, um, yeah, because ultimately you need to transform your life, right? There's this rebirth here with new, it's like you're holding these, these, you know, this ace of cups here, this ace of wands in the other hand, and you're at a state of contemplation, you know that something needs to be put to death or cut away that's creating stress in your life but you are very powerful holding these gifts and opportunities in your hands so don't waste them is what I'm trying to say alright so near future nine of wands wow so the wounded warrior so there's a regression here you got a ten which is the end of that cycle and then back up to the nine in the near future so the wounded warrior has been knocked down time and time again and feels like giving up, but ultimately they have the strength to continue to give it that final push. So I feel you push yourself out of that, that exhaustive machine. A lot of fire on this side. We've got the Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. There, you know, there's a huge blaze happening on this side. You know, the Nine of Cups is in the middle there, but, um, you know, it's the motor that's driving this consciousness, this, uh, it's fueling this journey for you, masculine. Um, I was just noticing here, we got more love, right? So the King of Cups um, is realizing true love, right, is... the key to who he is when he's in a true love space giving and receiving love freely you know it he's living his true authentic life not this fake you know ego driven life okay carrying on page of cups more love All right so the page is uh, communication of love the muse, inspiration. So it's, you know, the Ace of Cups is a new, brand new beginning of love, and then here we have a desire to start that new love. So the masculine may, you may desire to communicate how you feel, or it could mean that communication is coming into you, uh, towards you. Um, but I'm not sure if you're receptive to it with the nine of wands there. Let's continue. Two of swords, indecision, crossroads. So it's right beneath this darkness, right? So you need to release it quite obviously. You're, you're being held back by fear, by the ego, right? You're always looking to the past and how this person hurt you. Okay, so you're ignoring this offer that's right beside you. You're, you're in this 
you know, the wounded warrior battled wounds, scars. Right, you're, you're, yeah, I don't know. Well, let's continue. Throat chakra again. So the feminine got this in her present position and it was coming in with the king of swords. So either you desire communication or communication comes to you, but ultimately I feel like um, you have something to say. You need. You have a. You are making a decision. And you you're going to express that decision, probably. Okay. Next is the high priestess. Nice. So the high priestess is divine feminine in the five D. Someone who is all knowing, right? Very highly intuitive. Um, she goes within. She uses her own wisdom and knowledge in order to make decisions so what I'm feeling either this means that you masculine are becoming intuitive um, and you were bringing the third eye chakra into the union energy for the twin flame reading um, but I feel that either communication comes in it's very loving very meaningful and ultimately helps you make a decision to pull you out of that restrictive energy um, and you express yourself to either the Divine Feminine in the 5D or you, you actually communicate with her in the 3D or vice versa. It's a large audience that I'm reading for, so i got to kind of cover all. Um, so, Cornerstone card, uh, the Tower, this is going to be the final outcome. Um, so the Tower, Sudden Change, Disruption comes in like a bolt of lightning out of the blue and so maybe the feminine is making an entrance and will make an entrance very suddenly um, and it will come at a time of complete exhaustion um, now the tower tears down the illusions so you know and so that it, a firm foundation can be built upon it right so it's a destructive energy but it's always meant to, you know, to build a truthful reality. So cornerstone car, some big change is going to happen in the future. And it's like, you can't take it anymore. You give it that final push and either you make a decision to communicate um, or the tower comes in and does it for you, makes a change for you because you're resisting it. Eight of cups. So... Um, you are also bringing this uh, card into the union as crowning energy. So it's a sense that you're, or no, sorry, heart center energy. You are walking towards Treasure Island. So illusions come down and you walk away emotionally from either karmic or from the divine feminine. Um, but ultimately, since when you look at all these other cards, there's a sense of this deep love and realizing that you can have true love in your life. This is a true love card. This is desiring that that new beginning and this is movement towards a more self-loving um, but also giving, you know, unconditional love. It's Whatever you're in, whatever this tower is, the house of cards is an illusion. In the masculine, you are walking away from that towards true love. Five of cups. Wow, the feminine got this in this area as well as a final outcome for her reading. So heartache, pain. You also got this as a final outcome. So there, there's going to be an emotional loss, a lot of regret, a lot of, of, of betrayal and tears that is going to come with this tower in the future. Um, but, you, you know, you can't stop the tower. It's going to come whether you like it or not. So illusions are coming down. Oh, wow. And it's to make room for the Divine Feminine. So this card was showing up the Divine Feminine's present position for the Twin Flame as well as your past future position. So this card was coming to you in the future for the Twin Flame. So you either might be feeling heartbreak from this loss or you're moving towards her. And I definitely feel that you're moving towards the feminine, you know, not allowing this emotional bullshit to keep you trapped any longer. You desire love in your life. You're going to communicate it and walk through that pain towards your feminine. 
All right, I love how it's right below the confirmation card, the Four of Wands. That's confirmation of a twin flame connection. All right, so it's like, do I go, don't I? I don't know, I don't know, I'm scared, right? So always stuck at that crossroads, ultimately move towards her. Final cornerstone card, nice. So you got you got this card as well in the twin flame reading. All right, there was a sense that you were always stuck at a crossroads, but... And it didn't feel like you're moving forward. You you were projecting this energy of being stuck, but in reality, you have been moving forward, albeit very slowly. You're walking a tightrope. You don't want to make any mistakes, right? So there's a sense of you arriving at your destination, especially with you know the chariot is moving forward. People are cheering on you on, yeah, getting the go light from spirit, using your intuition, and then you it's like you arrive, right, at this place with the feminine, away from the illusion, the lie, right, doing what's best for you, pursuing love, not being chained. All right, so let me pull one card from Miss and Mermaids, and this will be the final message from the universe. Microcosmic Seascape. All right, so storms are brewing o'er the quay, ships are tossing out at sea, dark and dreary rain, nimbus, cloud, forms a hard and heavy shroud, oh, what turmoil rocks the waves, threatening men's with early graves, but I can watch without alarm and know the scene means me no harm. A wide-eyed maiden with ivy-draped hair holds in her arms a glass orb enclosing a miniature seascape complete with sailing ships, although it appears a storm is rolling in, or a lady knows she, our lady knows she is safe. She is safely on the outside of the carefully contained scene. So the meaning out of harm's way. Someday soon you will hear bear witness to a traumatic event, but do not fear you are safe. Although upsetting the uh, upcoming turmoil is removed enough from you from your person that you will not suffer directly. When the storm arrives, you may feel powerless, but accept that there is nothing you can do. Some things are outside of your control and you simply have to stand by and watch them transpire. Okay, so that would point directly to the tower coming in your future, right? And you ultimately, it causes you pain, but you know it's meant to bring you towards your true love. Right, so take it one step at a time. All right, so I hope this helped. Much love and peace to you.